Hello friends and welcome to part 15 of our Fast API tutorial. In this video, we are going to very quickly touch on uh, response status codes. These are, um, you know, you can, you can manually respond with a specific status code, but what you can also do is you can add it to the, uh, to the route decorator so that you can actually have some documentation to show what the available status codes will be. So let's try it out at post items status code equals 201 for created async def create item name is a string return name name now if we go back here and refresh our page we can try this out we hit execute and you can see we get a status code of 201 now if we didn't include this, it would by default show us a 200 status code, which is fine. But if you want a little bit more information, then this is how we can do it. Uh, we can add in something like app.delete items pk, because I don't feel like um, putting item pk. async def delete item pk is a string print pk pk and return uh, status code of 204 indicates um, no content so let's go back here and refresh you can see our successful response would have no content and we get exactly that now let's see what happens when we return the primary key there we go we did not actually get any content because even though we are returning something from this function, we are telling FastAPI that we actually want to return a 204 status code, which is no content. Uh, let's go ahead and create another route. App.get items status code equals 301. Async def read items redirect and then we will just say um, return hello world now let's look at our items nope that's create item read items redirect try it out execute and we get a null response because this is a redirect it's a moved permanently uh, redirect. So we're not going to actually return that content here. If we go in here and we do items for our get request, we get null and we are told if we, let's do this one more time, we are told that it is permanently moved. So if we're building a front end or if we're, you know, someone else is going to be using this in their front end application, then they can do something with that information and they can, you know, they can handle that in the front end. Um, you can do things. You can pass in. Um, I mean, let's try. Let's try 401 just for fun. See what happens. Refresh our page. A successful response returns a 401, which makes no sense. No sense whatsoever. Okay, we can see it's just all sorts of broken. Um, you're generally not really going to be returning a, four, a 400 for a successful status code. Um, you could, well, we'll talk about how you can actually extend them. Um, uh, you can extend your status codes. You can add more information in here uh, later on. We're not going to do that right now. This is just an introductory thing. If we look at um, MDN HTTP status codes, because let's say you might not know off the top of your head that 204 is no content or 201 is created. Well, you can look in here and you can see all the status codes. 201, 200, 204, partial content, you know, take, take your pick. You can see all of them. But in case you don't want to have to have that open, what you can also do, if we go up here, let's change this back to a 301 just for fun. What we can also do is from fast API, we can import status. And now instead of just 201 status.http 201, 
will show the created. Or we can just see all of these right here. We don't know which the no content one is, status.http2. Um, we know it's not going to be a 400, so we need 204. We know this one's going to be a redirect, so we need a 300 something. Let's, uh, let's change this to 302, just for fun. And we refresh our page here. Uh, read items redirect, try it out, execute. Still showing move permanently. There we go. We at least got the redirect here, the 302 found. I don't know what's going on with the Swagger Docs right now. Let's not worry about it. Either way, here you can see we have the 201. It's the exact same functionality that we saw before. It's just using this status um, option, it means you don't have to memorize it, which is generally the only ones that I have memorized are 201, 204, uh, 400, 401, 403, 404, stuff like that. You know, the, the pretty standard ones. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That status code is just a little bit extra documentation in here. Um, in the next video, uh, which will again be a short one, we are going to talk about passing in um, form fields. See you then.